Hi everyone, I'm Kasi. I'm a full-time engineering student working a full-time job from home and in between all of that, I run a small side hustle that I started in November 2024, which is making personalized kitchens using a 3D printer. Today, I want to share my full process from designing in Canva, 3D modeling in Tinkercad, and printing and packaging each kitchen and maybe inspire you to start something of your own even if life feels busy or overwhelming if i can make space for this with everything on my plate i believe you can too let's get into it step one open canva on your web browser start by setting your canva size to 70 by 30 millimeters this is my god size for making simple name keychains then type the name you want to use. For this one, I'm using my own name, Kasselin. And when choosing a font, I usually go for something bold, clean, and easy to read when it's printed. Avoid cursive or super thin fonts. They don't always come out clearly in 3D printing. Once you are happy with the look, export your design as an SVG file and make sure the background is set to transparent. This file will be used in the next step when we convert it into 3D model. So now let's turn our design into a 3D model using Tinkercad. Go to tinkercad.com on your web browser. This is one of the easiest and most beginner-friendly 3D modeling tools out there, especially for making simple keychains, and it's totally free. Once you are logged in, import the SVG file you exported from Canva. Right after importing, make sure to set the quality to maximum for smoother edges. Now, let's adjust the measurements. Fix the width to 21.94 mm. Yes, it's fixed. If you want to make a simple keychain, just like a small keychain for wallets, bags, like that. And the length depends on your name. For reference, my name, Castellin, comes out to 60.57 mm. Now, here's a little cheat method I use. You can copy this and yeah, pause the video and copy or screenshot. So after that, I copy and paste the name two more times so that I have three versions to modify. On the second version, set the silhouette to maximum. This creates a strong felt look for bolder styles. On the third version, go to the outline settings and set it to round. Make sure the height is around 31 point something millimeter, not exactly 30 and not over 32. It just gives a better proportion visually. Now, go back to the first version. Select the cone shape on top and set the height to 2 millimeter. Then press Ctrl L to group and center everything properly. Now let's make the keyring hole manually. Don't use the built-in ring shape, it doesn't always print well. Instead, create your own hole. First, make a small cylinder shape and set it to 2 mm by 2 mm. Then place a bigger cylinder around it and set it to 5 mm by 5 mm. The height is 2 mm. Select both and press Ctrl L to center them together. Now position the ring on the top corner of your keychain text. Once placed correctly, select everything and group the shapes. This will combine the ring and the name into one solid model. And also, make sure to export your file as STL. And that's it. For step 3, we are now moving on to the 3D printing process. I personally use the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini Combo and honestly, I love it. The quality is amazing and it gives me clean, professional results. Plus, it's super user-friendly even for beginners. 
So now let's get into the printing preparation. Open Bamboo Studio on your computer. This is the software where we prepare our fin files. Click prepare, then import your SDL file from Tinkercad by clicking the box icon to upload. Once your keychain is loaded, click the paint bucket tool to begin coloring. Use the fill option so you can apply color to each part of the keychain. In my case, I'm using two colors only, one for the base and one for the name text. Once you have filled in the colors the way you want, it's time to slice the plate. Click slice plate. This will generate all the details of your print. Now, this part is important. Check the filament change time. Since I'm only using two colors, I set this to two. If your print shows something like 10 colors, that means it's over detecting. Just click the green color bulb bar below and adjust the color layers to match the actual number of colors you use. This helps avoid unnecessary process during the print. Once everything looks good, click print print and select your printer. In this case, I'm using Bamboo A1 Mini and after that, just sit back and let the printer do the work. the finished product fresh off the 3d printer now before it's fully ready i like to do a clean clean up sometimes there are little left over strings from the filament especially around edges or holes to clean it i just use a small brush or even my fingers to gently remove any loose bits you can also use a small blade or file for stubborn areas but in most cases brushing is enough next it's time to add a chain i take a basic keyring chain loop it through the hole we made earlier and secure it and just like that it's done we now have a personalized 3d printed keychain made completely from the scratch <music> 